Hi friends, in this video I like to discuss the most ignorance part of degree student's life that means after degree what we have to do, how we can get the job and all these things will be discussed of course for each and every degree whether it is a professional degree or normal degree if you have great content knowledge regarding the concerned degree you will definitely get the job but coming to engineering degree the basic knowledge of engineering is not at all sufficient to get the job with that you should have the basic knowledge of aptitude and you should have the basic knowledge of english also so both of them are also equally important and better you should have a good knowledge on general knowledge then you can crack any of the exams but um, currently i am really worrying about the attitude of the students regarding aptitude i mean quantitative aptitude many people feel that without aptitude also they will get the job but that's not at all correct for any jobs maybe software job or core jobs or any other jobs bank jobs and some other public sector jobs maybe in some maybe state government jobs or central government jobs for any jobs the aptitude is more or less linked with them and the pity part is that the aptitude itself changes your fate that means the aptitude itself becoming a discrimination of students whether they will get the job or they won't get the job because i have communicated with many of my colleagues and many of my students who are really good at engineering knowledge and they who are really interested to do government jobs who are eagerly waiting for government jobs i have communicated with them they solely told the one thing regarding previous ap transco that in that exam 25 marks are given from aptitude out of 100 and those 25 marks are very very easy and the problems are very easy but the pro but what they all told is they told that question paper is easy sir but we don't have sufficient time to solve them so why that comes so because lack of practice that comes into picture and as we are unable to treat aptitude as one of the engineering courses for getting the jobs so that's why we feel we make the aptitude this much complicated and we are thrown away from the all these jobs so please keep in your mind that aptitude is very very important for getting any sort of jobs once you finish your engineering degree okay let us see what is the so this video is regarding the role of aptitude after degree so once you have finished your btech degree or any other degree maybe bsc degree also aptitude is very very important so where the aptitude is exactly important and those things and which topics are very important and those things will be discussed in this video and i like to contribute from my side towards this aptitude also so let us discuss all these things in this video so let's go ahead with the video first what are the examinations which are definitely asking the aptitude as one of the parts of their examination so entrance examination to get mba for cat mat or gmat aptitude is compulsory the around 30 to 40 percent bits comes from aptitude only and coming to mtech also in gate also there are some part which comes from aptitude and coming to the next core jobs for ap transco and some other mm, state government jobs or central government jobs also we definitely require the aptitude knowledge and some bits definitely comes from aptitude and coming to public sector examination state government examination and central government examination of course the public sector examination may be core jobs or some maybe non technical jobs also coming to ssc combined preliminary examination so this is also public sector exam only but this is somewhat different exam and which has very good thing regularly they are post to notification notifying and that is somewhat uh, what we can call it is that is somewhat 
expected job that means regularly they are notifying so if you can keep on attempting regularly if you are keep on improving regularly definitely one on the other day you will get the job in those type of jobs also aptitude plays a very very vital role in getting the job okay and in obviously in railway recruitment board the things are of very common in campus recruitment tests that means for software and any other things now campus recruitment test means it's not only the software maybe the for core jobs also some core jobs may come to campus interviews so in those things they definitely ask for the aptitude without aptitude nobody will appreciate to take you because aptitude is it's the pure mathematics just below the level of even 10th class so every person has to expect an answer from you that compulsory at least you should know the procedure of the problem any problem so definitely they will definitely appreciate if you get the if you give the good answer and they will definitely appreciate if you give the proper procedure at least because it is the 10th class level standard that means if you are studious or not it only tells the same so that's why everyone is expecting a very good catch up of any student from aptitude so don't neglect the aptitude at all so in these times as we are spending these times at home so let's have some type of examination kind of thing in by using this channel okay let's go ahead yeah i want to conduct series of tests based on some some topics on aptitude and the test will be like this there is no entry fee you no need to pay any fee to me so it's absolutely free and the number of questions will be 30 i will give you 30 questions the number of attempts will be only one you need to attempt them at only once and maximum time will be 30 minutes that means for one question you need to spend only one minute and the prize will be given to the topper of each exam for each and every exam i will announce the topper and i will give the prize to that topper definitely and the minimum mark to get the prize is 27 that means for example if 100 people may attend the exam and the topper may be he may get 25 marks out of 30 he may not get the prize so to get the prize you should definitely score more than 90 percentage of the total marks yeah the topic for examination will be disclosed sorry 24 hours prior to the examination that means i will say the topic today and i will conduct the exam tomorrow and i will give the time up to day after tomorrow so within the span of 24 hours you can attempt the examination at any time but you need to finish the exam just half an hour after your attention that means that's the only rule for these examinations so please be please prepare yourself as i will give you 24 hours of time for preparation so you can prepare easily and again i will give you 24 hours time to you know, take the exam also so you can not you can definitely take 40 maybe 47 hours also to prepare yourself based on the topic in the time to attempt the examination is again 24 hours it's not 12 hours okay it was wrong again 24 hours so you can attempt the exam within that 24 hours span but you need to finish the exam within one hour only. within half an hour only okay it's a 30 minutes 30 questions in 30 minutes that's all so what are the topics we are going to conduct so the quantitative aptitude is divided into two parts one is arithmetic ability and second one is data interpretation so let us see number system maybe binary number system or arabic number system so any number system and hcf and lcm type of problems based on decimal fraction of problems simplification square roots and cube roots averages problems on numbers and problems on ages okay problems on ages of course both are same 
certs and indices logarithms percentage type of problems profit and loss ratio and pro proportion partnership chain rule pipes and system time and work time and distance boats and streams problems on trains mixture and irrigation simple interest compound interest area volume and surface areas races and games of skill calendar clocks permutations and combinations probability true discount banker's discount heights and distances and odd man out from the series maybe series of numbers may be given series of letters may be given so we need to take odd man out of the series so this is this is the these are the topics come under arithmetic ability so whenever whenever i take any topic and whenever i try to give the question paper on any of the topics so i will give it to you prior to the 24 hours so definitely you can prepare and you can write the exam so that's what my planning is and next one is data interpretation so it's tabulation bar graphs pie charts line graphs so these are the things of course uh, without arithmetic things you can't go ahead with these things so these are the one type of things so you can go ahead with them so these are very simple actually we have already learned all these things before below 10th class itself but still we need to have a great practice for them to crack 30 bits in 30 30 minutes okay let us see i want to conduct the first exam on the topic problems on ages only one topic it's very simple topic the examination will be available on 12 april 2020 that means i have announced the topic now so you can read it up to tomorrow 5 pm and i will put the link in the description box of this video so in this video the description box is available in youtube so where you can get the link of the examination so you can definitely go ahead click click on that link and you can directly answer the problems okay this is the thing and next you can attempt the examination on or before 13th so within one day you can attempt the exam 5 pm and the result will be announced on 13th 6 pm okay then i i will tell you who is the topper and who is the winner of the prize okay this is my first this is my first examination and in the meantime i will give the some type of timetable or uh, sort of things maybe for 10 days i may plan it for 10 days and i will give it to you and those things will be there so please be online and uh, please follow my youtube channel so that we can have very good sessions on this quantitative aptitude so these are regarding examinations if you guys want any topics explanation of any topics i am ready to share it with you so that we can have a, a good era of aptitude so that we can crack any problem comes from any examination maybe from core maybe from campus recruitment training and whatever it may be so aptitude means for for any exam if aptitude comes for 30 marks means you should definitely get 30 out of 30 because please remember all of us are very good at mathematics and of course many of us got 100 percentage of marks in mathematics up to 10th class or up to intermediate or up to plus 2 but what happened to so what happened to us we don't know but once whenever we come to engineering we we fail in mathematics one itself it's a really pathetic thing but the problem of mathematics is we need to continuously practice the problems then only we will get good marks or at least we will pass the exam otherwise we won't get good marks or we, we won't track these type of things so please be cautious and be practice yourself 
so that you will definitely get very good marks in aptitude so my job in the, from this video and from this type of things my job is to make yourself confident to get 100% of marks from any of the aptitude tests that may be from campus interviews and that may be from core core jobs or that may be from anything maybe bank jobs or any any job public sector or private sector and whatever may be the sector itself once aptitude once you finish off these examinations you should be have some confidence such that you can crack any aptitude test with 100 percentage of marks if you can do that and you can put your other efforts on some other topics so that you will get very good things okay Thank you so much for your kind support for my YouTube channel and if you like this video, please like it. If you want to share this video, please share with your friends and family. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly do subscribe and please press the bell button so that you will get the notifications whenever I upload any video. Thank you. Thank you so much.